the Director General of the Peter Obi Presidential Campaign Organization, Dr. Doin Okokwe, has reacted to a photograph circulating on the social media site to be that of the son of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. The reaction of the former presidential spokesman was contained in a series of tweets on his Twitter handle on Sunday. The photograph shows a young, fair in complexion, man wearing a t-shirt with the color of Biafra, stepping on a Nigerian flag. Those who sent the photograph had said, Obi's alleged son, whose name was not mentioned, was showing the indigenous people of Biafra in them. The write-up that came with the photograph said, this is Peter Obi's son. The IPOP in them is further confirmed by the clothes he wear and marching on our green, white, green flag. And the same father is campaigning to rule Nigeria. Reacting, Okokwe tweeted on Sunday, This is not Peter Obi's son. No amount of falsehood will dampen the current wave of support for Peter Obi. <laughs> oh my God. You see, these people, they are just looking for anything, anything, anyhow, you know, to indict Peter Obi. Now, so if they, they see people when they say they don't, they defeated, you understand? Peter Obi has become a very big threat to them. They are just looking for anything to use against him, but it won't work. Picking a picture anywhere, anyhow, you know, to target on Peter Obi's son or whatever, it will not still work. Thank God, say people still know Peter Obi children. You understand? So this is the hand of these, the handbook of PDP and APC parties who are fighting against Peter Obi's movement. That is just the truth. They are looking for anything possible to indict him. You understand? So bringing this will not work. It won't work. All these people, when they do this thing, may them forget this thing when they do. Now, now talk, say Peter will be not going to feel win. He's only popular on social media. But this man is giving you, you guys, sleepless nights. He cannot win. His, his, his party does not have structure. And the same structureless party will not let you drink your water and keep your cup on your table. Forget this thing now. If you don't want to support the person, why are you denting the person's image? Market your own candidates. Many the people, when they market them, they market them. If you feel, say, your party go win, they market your own candidates. You understand? Now, so they're supposed to do something. But for you to be picking out things and all that, you know, it don't make sense at all. You understand? The Nigerians have reacted to this. So someone said, this Peter Obi son does, doesn't does he, doesn't he have a name? You should let everyone know his name. Nigeria is a joke. Uh -huh. That one is another one. Okay, the Peter Obi son, you know, gets name. Because of Peter Obi children, they get name. If you really know what you are doing, you would have as well mentioned the person's name. The enemies of good governance are trying to discredit Peter Obi, but they will surely fail. Exactly. Peter Obi has his life to live and his son has his own life to live. Whichever way his son chooses to live his life has nothing to do with his father. Do you understand? These are reactions by Nigerians. I am sorry, bro. I totally disagreed with your statement. Whatever any of Peter Obi do or does at this particular time and season has a lot to do and carries implications for Peter Obi's ambi ambition. But brother, just understand that all these are fake. People are doing this to indict Peter's Obi uh, ambition. There you go again. It's your people that cause more dangerous to Obi ambitions by insulting every other political party, include individuals. This is cheap black May. We have passed this stage. This is not Obi son, may people know, many people know the, the boy. You hardly see the boy around, so gentle and humble son. 
I beg, this one not fake. This will not be Peter Obi's son. Peter Obi have not met and no does not have time for such app. Is such a responsible and hard-working young man. How can this be Peter Obi's son? When he was the governor, did you ever see his son with him? The boy have his own life to live. In fact, Lei Shikao was Peter Obi's first child, Abi. Even the Kabiru Sokoto, nine second son. Before I forget, but risky nine third child. <laughs> These are reactions by Nigerians, and they keep on talking. Someone said, Peter Obi is giving them sleepless night. Exactly. That is just it. Peter Obi is giving them sleepless night. That is why they are doing all these things. But it will not work. You understand? If Peter Obi is not a problem to them, they're not going to feel they talk all these things when then they talk. They are being, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> because this is somebody you said he cannot win election. But you have refused to leave his matter. A matter don't become a big problem to you. If you shake head, you go talk. If people talk about him, you go talk. Right now, they are laughing that uh, Kwan Kwasi said he cannot be Peter Obi's running mate, as if Kwan Kwasi is the only option for life. And who even tell themselves, say Kwan Kwasi not be the best art from anybody when they are out there. So people should understand that this movement is not a uh, Southeast movement. Peter Obi is not coming because he wants Igbo's Igbo uh, president from Igbo extraction is coming, is coming to bring out Nigeria from the pitiable condition she is right now. But these bad people, no one make it pass through. But they are they are work in no go in no go pass because Peter Obi. It's a God divine project. So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for listening.